Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Ophiosis. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Remember that this reading is for people that was born November, November 29th until December 17th. Okay. So what are we coming in with? This is uh, um, Venus and Gemini's. Okay. That is the energy of the Nine of Swords. Mars in Gemini is a whole lot of worries. Anytime you hear about the planet Mars in any other planet, uh, Mars in Gemini is a whole lot of worries. So with a lot of, with, with, with a Gemini, with uh, some of you. Okay. It's about terror. It's about sleepless nights, despair, cruelty that has happened in transpire Mars in Gemini. Some sort of a problem at the workplace. It could be with a Gemini. Um, some sort of a problem that is going to be coming up with you, Sagittarian. And it could be with a Gemini, okay? So be aware of that. What we're recognizing is that some sort of a good news is going to be happening. Good news is in the foundation. Um, who is this good news for? Um, we are going to be recognizing and, uh, you ladies are going to be standing your ground. Whatever is transpiring, I see you ladies standing your ground. So I see a whole lot of you ladies standing your ground. So I see if you are a boss or you're in some sort of a leadership, a whole lot of you ladies is going to be standing your grounds. Okay. Um. So let's see how that is going to be played out. Because I see a lot of ladies is going to be standing their ground with a situation um, and, you know, holding your borders to a situation. So however that is transpiring, I see Aries, the or Sagittarius, some sort of a legal issue. I see you're going to be successful overcoming this. OK, so let's look at uh, the first week. We have in the first week, the two of pentacles. This is Jupiter in Capricorn. Jupiter in Capricorn and it's in reverse. Whatever the issue and the problem is, some of you ladies could have been um, creating some sort of a problem for a Capricorn and creating some sort of a worrisome issue for a Capricorn. There could have been some sort of a legal issue. There is no win. Um, for you ladies, there is absolutely no win. I see conflicts with a fire sign person. The Capricorn is the one that is going to be winning. So a lot of you ladies could have created a whole lot of problems for a Capricorn. Okay. Jupiter in Capricorn. Um, and because of a Capricorn, a lot of you could be a sleepless at sleepless nights. And uh, whatever that has been happening and transpiring in this first week, uh, Jupiter is in Capricorn and it's in the reverse form. Okay, so whatever is transpiring, you're not happy at your work. A whole lot of worries. You have sleepless nights. You have you're having problems at the workplace, and it is not um, it is not good for you. You're really having problems at the workplace, and it is affecting you. Problems at work, it is affecting you. And uh, whatever this problem is and problems at work that is affecting a whole lot of you, it is seriously affecting you mentally. Um, and I see that uh, whatever that um, was happening and transpiring, I see um, a victory is going to be coming in and people are going to be recognizing um, what is uh, transpiring. So, um um some some of you who are looking for um some sort of a job if you were um, open for a job i see this this job offer could be coming in um the six of ones whoever is open for a job a job offer could be coming in when we have the energy of six is jupiter in leo okay so um, a lot of you are going to be winning over a Leo person, whoever this Leo person is and whatever that was transpiring. A Leo person is having some sort of a lawsuit and a lot of you um, women are going to be winning over a Leo person because they recognize uh, what this Leo person have done. So I see a lot of respect and admiration is going to be coming in for a lot of you and i see this in your foundation a lot of you are going to be respected and admire 
okay luck is um here for you guys the six of wands luck is here for you um ophiosis then we see the energy of uh, um the queen of wands now this queen of wands is an aries person and some sort of a legal issue with this aries person and um whoever this aries they are a sagittarian person it's coming up as an aries person they're saying aries but it could be legal issue with an Aries person you're going to be victorious and successful okay you're going to be coming out of this because they're going to be recognizing um that a, a, a Aries person whoever this Aries person is if you notice they are having some legal issue an Aries woman is having some legal issue and when you look at because uh, this is your foundation this is what is transpired and this person is having some sort of a legal issue if you look at this, this person, this Aries person that is having the legal issue has to do with Capricorn in uh, Jupiter in Capricorn. And what is transpiring here is that if you recognize this, uh, um, this um, Aries or Sagittarius person stabbed a lot of you in your backs and create a conflict. And I see that they're recognizing that uh, this person used another person to work against a Capricorn and they're not recognizing and this woman is having a, a, a huge legal issue because they recognize what this woman have. So you Sagittarian is going to be coming out very strong. So whoever this um, Aries or Sagittarian woman is, so have um, given documentation and falsify some sort of a documentation. Um, given documentation and falsify some sort of a documentation and um, the four of swords is the energy of Jupiter in Libra. Okay, so this is a legal issue, as I have said. Um, recommendation, a period of rest and recovery, solitude, okay? Um, and whoever this person is, so, uh, try to create some sort of a problem. Jupiter in Libra. Uh, Jupiter in Libra is about having legal issue. So an Aries the or Sagittarius person is having some sort of a legal issue. And this is creating a whole lot of worries so, and conflicts. But I see a lot of you in your foundation, you are, you are victorious and successful because they recognize that this person, whoever this person is, with all of this legal issue, had lied and created a whole lot of conflicts with an Aries the or Sagittarius person. So... They recognize that this old person, whoever this old person is, had lied and shared documentation and send documentation to an Aries D or Sagittarius person. So you are correct and you are going to be winning this situation because uh, um, the six of wands, wherever it is in a reading and it is standing alone, that means you, um, Ophiosis, are going to be victorious and successful because it's standing alone. This is your foundation. And in your foundation, you're going to be getting some sort of a good news. You're going to be victorious and successful because they recognize that this Aries B or Sagittarian person had lied and had falsified documentation. And the documentation is a Capricorn information that this person, this Aries B or Sagittarius, has falsified and gave to a younger person. And you're now finding out and seeing the truth and now you're going to be victoriously successful standing your ground and if you go back Ophiosis and look at my personal channel and go back and look at the reading I said yes return the money to the Capricorn or return yeah so go back and look so here it is coming up in business that you Ophiosis are the ones that recognize that an Aries or Sagittarius person had lied and take data information and gave to a young Aries or Sagittarius person. And it is all coming out here because you, Ophiosis, are going to be victoriously successful showing up what this Aries or Sagittarius person have done. And that the information is for a Capricorn. And I see a whole lot of conflicts, legal issue. This was a lawyer that lied and gave data and information to an Aries the or fire sign person and they're going to be recognizing this now and putting the puzzle together and recognize what the Sagittarian woman has done. So the Ten of Swords, it's about the sun in Gemini. They're now recognizing what a Sagittarian woman have done. 
it could be a Sagittarian um, woman in the legalities or can access people information and data. Sun in Gemini, they're recognizing what this uh, Sagittarian woman have done. This is coming up as a Sagittarian lawyer or Aries, the or Sagittarian lawyer who has given data because now Sun in Gemini is that information is coming out, okay? Backstabbing, they, they show up that this woman has backstabbed you in order to give information and data. So whoever this area is there, Sagittarian person is, they're going to be recognized. And the Five of Swords is that I see a lot of you, Venus in Aquarian, but you are not worried because you're standing up against the struggle, okay? Because you're recognizing that a woman, a, a, a woman in some sort of a legality has been creating a whole and, and, and changing and accessing data and information and has been changing that. Venus in Aquarian is now there is an investigation and they're recognizing how an Aries Lee or Sagittarian has had so much information and data and they recognize that it's an Aries Lee or Sagittarian woman who has facilitated this person with so much information and data. So this is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is so good, ladies and gentlemen, because a lot of information is coming out. And uh, they, yeah, they recognize that a Sagittarian person, because that is the Knight of Wands, so a Sagittarian person is involved in um, giving information and data of, of a Capricorn. All right. So this is the Capricorn. All right. Because this person tried to throw the Capricorn under the bus. So, um, whatever this woman have, this woman have a hateful um situation against a Capricorn. This woman is really hateful and really jealous. It's a sick person. This person, um, keep away from this person. But you also is seeing this person because this person is coming up as an Aries Lee or a Sagittarian is is is, is, is a Sagittarian person. An Aries or a Sagittarian person, Aries Lee or a Sagittarian person who gave a lot of data and information. It's a lawyer or someone that work in authority, like a civil servant, is the one that gave data and information. Because a Gemini is going to be um, speaking up about this. A Gemini is going to be showing up and speaking up about this, uh, speaking up against this lawyer that is this lawyer that gave an Aries or a sign person all this data over a Capricorn. Because the Capricorn... Is the energy of the two of pentacles, and this is a uh, um the two of pentacles, and the energy of this two of pentacles when it comes up, um, it is the energy of uh, Jupiter in Capricorn. All right, so Jupiter in Capricorn, whoever this uh, um, Capricorn person is, their information was given. The Capricorn information was given. An Aries Lee or a fire sign lawyer or someone who works in civil service is the one that given the data and information to a young Aries Lee or a Sagittarian person. And I see you, Ophiosis, is going to be happy because you found out how a young Aries Lee or a fire sign person have gotten so much information and data um, over a Capricorn. And now you're putting the puzzle together and is recognizing. So I see truth is going to be coming out. A Libran is also going to be standing up and said, a Libran is going to be saying, yeah, it is an Aries Lee or a Sagittarius person um, that gave me the information and the data and asked me to access it and took it from the Capricorn. And they're going to be start speaking up against this um, woman because they recognize that this woman create drama and chaos and stop out of it. This woman create drama and chaos and stop out of it and leave them and they're going to be recognizing that this woman has been a very, and I see um, people in authorities is going to be recognizing and I see a lot of you are going to be shown some sort of appreciation because this is in your foundation and you're standing back and looking the play and you're putting the puzzle together because a Libran is going to be saying, hey, um, it is an Aries Lee or a Sagittarian woman that has asked me to acquire 
and took a Capricorn information and the Libra is going to be giving that up. And I see no win for this lady um, because you are putting the puzzle together because you hold out on a Libra and a Libra is going to be communicating that, letting people know that the air is the air of Sagittarius versus the one who a facilitator facilitate her with data and information from a Capricorn. So this is a really a, a situation at the workplace and data and information that was falsified and copy and access. Um, um, they're going to be recognizing that to someone in a supervisory position or someone that has access to information and data did it. And they're going to be taking down this person because they have enough for, um, they, they, they now have enough information showing up this Aries or Sagittarius person. It could be someone who is in a, in a government, um, um, situation, someone who is in a government situation, uh, a government position or a lawyer or someone in the civil service. So in some sort of a, a work permit, data documentation, immigration also, um, and in a embassy, who access and copy someone data and information and gave it to Aries Lee or Sagittarius. So I see you Ophiosas are in, have been investigating this for a very long time and has been listening to data information and is watching the flow of data and recognize that this Aries Lee or Sagittarian person is the one that has been creating a whole lot of these problems, really creating a whole lot of these problems and as given data and information to other people, work permit, uh, travel documents to other people, using other people information, and they're going to be recognizing. So they're going to be, um, you all feel this is really going to be victoriously successfully overcoming this because you're going to be following the data and finding out and recognizing who this person is and what this person have done and who this person access information and data and how this person use and uh, as, uh, access the information and data and have been giving it and sharing it with other people. I have to say I gotta go. I am wishing you guys a really, really wonderful, wonderful um, uh, four weeks. A whole lot of information is going to be coming out, but in your Stability is that you are going to be victorious, successful, um, um, because you're going to be showing up the play and how data and information was accessed and how people got information and data that they were not supposed to have. I do love you guys. I gotta go and say namaste until next time. Show your loves and thumbs up. If you would like to see the extended of this reading, follow me to the other side. Otherwise, namaste until next time.